So I'm making progress on this uh, skeleton clock. As you can see, I've got the case uh, basically built, still have some adjustments, things I need to do. Uh, also having issues with the clock running properly. Uh, but what I thought I'd do is make a clock key. Uh, this mainspring is very powerful, so I needed a strong con clock key that I could get some uh, real torque on. And so I'll show how I made it, pleased with how it came out. Uh, and I think I've got an interesting uh, technique you might like uh, for making these kind of uh, keys with these square holes. So we'll take a look at that. So first I tried to make this key out of 303 stainless. Now you can see here me adding some flux, uh, heating the part up, and I could not get the, the uh, braze alloy, the solder to flow here. And I don't know if I had it too hot, but I know there's trouble with stainless. Anyone's got suggestions, I would love to see uh, how to do it. But I went back to something I know how to do and started making this part out of uh, brass. So you can see me here uh, machining the flat. This is the place where I can come down and silver solder that piece. And then cutting the groove for the key. Uh, this is a nice way where you don't need the brooch. Uh, I think it's a a pretty easy way to uh, make a key. It's always tough to s cut these uh, deep square holes, uh, but this, I think, technique works well. You'll see a trick I did in the end to make it strong enough. Here you can see me with the brass. I got a propane and a map torch. I like to heat it up quick with the map and then uh, even it out with the propane. Uh, but with the flux that I have, uh, it's very easy for me to solder. Um, to solder this brass. You'll see that in a second where the solder flows in. And I'm putting it on one side. And then flow right in the, in the other. So that easy, nice clean joint. So the next thing I had to do was turn this down. Now this is an intermediate cut, intermittent cut on a soldered piece so i put a face shield on went very gentle on here now this is the one risk with this is you don't want that thing to pull off uh, when you're cutting that down on the lathe but you can see what happens now you get a nice square hole um, and when you turn this down you don't know that it's two pieces but it's not that strong and you'll see the fix for that later on Just finishing it to the diameter I want. Now, basically, putting a little bit of uh, detailing on the uh, key, make it a little more visually interesting. Clean things up, and then I'll part this part off. This is cutting the uh, handle, just a piece of steel. Um, and now putting the hole in for the handle. You can see I come in there with an indicator, find where the hole is. And this I'm just using the uh, CNC manually. So I'm just using it uh, you, like you would a uh, milling machine. Come in here and cutting a hole for the handle. Now coming in, cutting two ends for the handles. Uh, I already made one, so this next I'm checking to make sure I get the right depth on the hole. And here we'll just part that off, clean it up and part it off. So I'll clean everything up and I'll put this together with uh, Loctite. Works fine for this application. Just find the center. I didn't make it too exact, just did it with a scale. So here you can see what I did. I put a steel sleeve around the end. Uh, this was uh, heated up a little bit and then hammered on, so it's got a press fit. It'll hold everything extremely strong, so I've got a brass core and that steel to hold it uh, together when you really put some torque on it. Hope you enjoyed this. If so, please subscribe and leave any comments.